Strength. Something we've been talking about for a long time now. Especially considering that uh, every one of these everyday KTs ends with be strong to a kilt on. The hell does that mean? So today, everyday KT number 214, we're talking about strength on KT. And that's what we're got. Strength. So, as you can see in the description, and oh geez, I just realized I have a hell of a cowlick. But anyway, shit happens. Strength. You got two kinds of strength. No, it's not physical or blah, 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 blah. It's internal and external. Internal strength, that's the strength you bring to the table. Is it your courage, your fortitude, your strength of will? Is it your faith? Is it your beliefs? Is it something that you learned through family, friends, maybe the military? Those guys give you all kinds of strength, whether you like it or not. Where does that internal strength come from? It's your your motivation, your internal thing that pushes you to not only do better, be a better person, but also to persevere through times of up, up, push through all kinds of things you don't like. You know, people being asshats, you know, crazy things happening in your life. It allows you to persevere, to push through, so that you can come out the other end. I'm not going to say unscathed, but you're not just going to be, you know, a bowl of jello. So, you have internal personal strength. That is huge. A lot of people, they, they search their whole lives for it. Some people do. They join the military and they get it because it's, it's given to you in a wonderful eight-week summer camp for wayward boys. So, that's, uh, that's inward, internal strength. External strength is a whole different animal. External strength is the strength that you derive from those around you, be it your, yeah, just the people around you. You know, they support you, they, they help you, they work with you. They do the things that allow you to be a better person. Now, internal strength, while tough to find is significantly easier to get than external strength because internal strength once you build it up it's yours you keep it or you piss it away but it's yours external strength is very fickle external strength because it's based entirely on other people on other people's willingness to help you to work with you to put up with your crap when you're being an ass and still be there for you when it hits the fan. It's very, it, the, those people are very easily pissed off and they easily go to the wind. So if you don't take care of the folks around you, they're not going to take care of you. That's external strength. Now, you have to have both to have a vibrant, successful life. You need that internal strength to stand up for yourself, to believe in the things that you believe in, whatever they might be. And you have the willingness to say so. You know, I like kilts. Yay. Okay, so be it. Um, external strength you have to have because we, as human beings, are not solitary creatures. We are very social creatures, which means we have to interact with other people. Be it for our personal lives, work, whatever. Our, our social interactions with whatever groups we belong to. You have to be able to deal with people. And now, as you know, with the globalization based on the internet, we have to deal with people from all over the place. It's no longer, oh, well, those folks that live within the 30 mile radius of me, that's my people. Most of us kind of think the same way. Most of us kind of do the same kind of thing. So life is wonderful. Now, pick up this thing. Boom, you're talking to people on the other end of the planet. You know, I could I could talk to somebody in Australia here without much trouble. Alaska? Sure. Hawaii? Might take a little bit of difference since that guy moved home, but Washington? Probably watching right now. All over the place. Very easy to get a hold of people from all over the world. That geographic similarity of thought out the window. You have people in very, very liberal parts of the world living or, or having communications with and interacting with people who live in very, very conservative parts of the world 
who also have to deal with people who come from parts of the world where they are not even afforded the, the, the simple freedom to express themselves. Or it's against the law to live a certain way, to think a certain thing, to own a certain thing, to even wear a certain thing. You could get in trouble. To say things, you can get shot in some parts of the world. But because of the internet, we're all, here you go, thrust in the same big mixing bowl and says, okay, play nice. Well, that doesn't always happen. But that internal strength gives you the fortitude to put up with people who are not only strong in their own personal beliefs, but too, they are strong in their beliefs to the point where it excludes and does not allow other beliefs to be in their world. So they want to go play on the big playground where everybody is, but they only want to play with people who think and look or act just like they do. It doesn't work that way. You know, that extra, that internal strength gives you that ability to go out and do those things. But without that external strength, you're running solo. And we all know what happens to the one guy, you know. There's the old adage, two is one, one is none, zero. You're out there by yourself, you've got nobody that has your back, you're on your own and you're screwed because... Odds are, if you're out there doing your own thing on your own, and you kind of got a mouth about it, unless you're Chuck Norris, I, I don't see much of a rosy future. So, that's strength. The internal strength. It's easy to come, easy to find. Either it's your faith, your beliefs, your whatever. It's who you are. And I say easy because it's easier than external strength. Because now that the whole world is together... It's really easy to walk up the street and find five or six people who have think the same way as you do. It's a whole different animal when you've got five or six people who completely despise your train of thought because they're 5,000 miles in the other direction. Yet you still have to deal with them, interact with them. Either play nice or you don't. It's up to you. Respect them or don't. Up to you. But, you know, as I've said before, I'd suggest the high road because you offer them a little bit of respect. Maybe they won't agree with you won't see your way of thought, but they'll at least give you the, the, the respect and decency so you live your life so that because you're letting them live theirs, you know, and that starts things. That starts the conversation between people who have nothing to do with each other, don't want to have anything to do with each other, but are thrust into the same group because of who knows why. So with that, uh, that's strength. And I'm just going to randomly pick Achilology because I can. And it's not worth it. Wow. Okay, so here you go. <laughs> here we go. So, why am I talking about strength today? The internal and external getting along, all that other stuff? Because of Achilology number 380. It's on Amazon. Butting heads. Don't bother butting heads with a kilty, figuratively or realistically. You'd have a better time ramming your head into a granite wall. It's softer. How does that apply? Simple. People who don't think the same, who don't believe the same things, who don't have the same ideals, the same backgrounds, the same history, probably might not see eye to eye. Now, button heads against one guy in a kilt, like I said, granite walls might be softer. Got two guys going like this. That's why there's popcorn. Because it, the, the, it just gets insane. But you get two options. Either they keep going at this and one guy gives. Or they stop. Have a conversation. Or they go their separate ways. That's kind of what happens. So you guys figure it out for yourselves. I'm not, I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. It's not my job to tell you how you are to live your lives. All I ask is... At least give each other the common respect that they're afforded because they're alive. Don't have to like it. Don't have to enjoy it. You don't have to agree with anybody. I don't even think tolerate is the right word. But offer them the respect so that you can at least understand where they're coming from, even if you don't like it. Go out there. Have a good night. I think it's Thursday. Do something cool because tomorrow's Friday. Fridays are awesome. And as always, be strong. Put a kilt on.